Some some nice humming right there. <laughs> what the frick? What is this? The oven was on. Guys, Flake Uchiha here, and welcome to Fears the Fathom Arson House. Now, we've played a few of these horror games here on the channel. Basically, Fears the Fathom is just a bunch of stories put into one game, and of course, they're horror stories. Now, in today's scenario, we are gonna be house city for a social media influencer. And today, as we're looking over this person's house for them, we're gonna have some crazy, strange things take place. Hey, without further ado, I hope you do enjoy, and let go. Fears the Fathom, Episode 3, Carson House, September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, so this was like 10 years ago. But I remember this incident like yesterday, as a trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody that he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a coup at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. That ain't too bad, honestly. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use this time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from, right? You know, you're a kid, you just, hey, anything will work as long as you get like a few bucks. My dad drove me to the house. Ooh! So we're in what seems to be a laundromat. These graphics are beautiful. Okay, I guess, what are we doing now? I thought we were going to some house to sit. Ooh, I love these kinds of horror games. Fears the Fathom, Chilazar, you guys all do amazing jobs with these games. Ooh, we got a little sprinty sprint. This rain is just a vibe, man. I could sit here and just watch this rain all day. We got private employees only. Well, let's check out a little bit more. We got a restroom over here. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, okay, the door shut. No! We're stuck. Well, if we die, uh, I deserve it. What the heck? This has to be some kind of like nightmare. This is like blood wash vibes right here. If you guys haven't seen that, highly recommend you guys watch that after this. Shoot. Oh, okay. I like the music going on. Some vibey music. It looks like we're high or something. Everything's all wiggly and stuff. Ooh, flies. Bunch of trash. I like this music though. Show. Oh, we got somebody over here. Sir? You vibing here? Bleach? What? Where did you put it? What are you talking about, bleach? I didn't take your bleach, man. Where's bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Okay, buddy. Relax there. I get it. You want your bleach. I don't know why you need bleach so bad. I know maybe to do your clothes. Noah? Bro, he's just staring at me. Why are you staring at me like that? Buddy, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm pressing like every key on my keyboard. Oh, I gotta click like right here specifically. No what? Question mark, question mark. Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. See, so we are dreaming. Okay, it was just a little nightmare. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we fell asleep in the car. That makes sense. You still think you can do this? I got this, Dad. Yeah, we got this. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. I got you. Okay, now get your butt up and go to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, oh, see ya, Dad. See ya. Look at this beautiful neighborhood. And we got cars driving her by. Hi, Sai. Hello, sir. Yo, it was a nice neighborhood. Yeah, for sure. It looks like a nice neighborhood. Guess we just go into the house now. Had to get the key from the backyard. Oh, yeah, that's right. Do we have a flashlight, though? I can't see anything. Where's this fake rock at? Oh, that's a dog. Hi, buddy. Here, let me pet you. Oh, we got a phone? I'm honestly jealous of Ava Raffle. Oh, that's a cute cat. Hey. Fake rock was by the old dog house. Oh, okay. Here we go. Fake rock. We got the key. Let's open up the door. Yes, sir. We in, baby. Now all we gotta do is just watch the place. That's it. Oh, we got a little bit of a mess here. I had to pee. All right, let's go to find the bathroom then. Is this the bathroom? Oh, wow. How lucky. Dude, this is a nice little bathroom. All right, let's go ahead and take a nice leak. 
<laughs> I like how we actually have an animation. That's funny. Man, really had to pee. Ooh, go ahead, flush that. There you go. Go ahead, wash our hands. Throw. Oh, we got a text message. Okay, I guess we just don't wash our hands. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walk. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. -ha. He's my dad. Wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house now. That I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. All right. Hey, you can turn on some TV. Shoot. That's a little weird. We're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. Right on it. Dang, Mr. Carson. You got a whole green screen room. The heck am I hearing? Bro, we got some TV on drugs. Turn that off for now. <laughs> Get weird. That's right. We need to feed the dog. Don't get distracted now. This might be the basement. Ah, there we go. Found it. The basement was a little too dark. Yeah, I can freaking see that, bro. Now, where's this dog food at? Can't you give me a flashlight? Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab a flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Awesome. Let's go grab that. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Yeah, this is a pretty f big freaking house. Is this it? This looks like a regular bedroom. Mr. Carson's bedroom has this weird smell of wet clothes. Couldn't open it from there. So I gotta go over here. Okay, found it. Now where is this flashlight? Mr. Carson's office look, looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. All right, you got that right. So we're gonna sit here and work. I remember I was doing calculus that night. But where's the flashlight, bro? I was here for a flashlight. This is like a laundry room. Sometimes you gotta be more specific, Carson. Like, come on, man. Maybe it's this room. It is pitch dark. I'm just gonna click everywhere. I can't see. Found it! Oh my gosh. Just had to be the hardest thing to find, didn't it? Now we can see much better. Why don't you just keep it in the kitchen or something, man? Oh, here we go. It was these, not the big freaking bag. Go ahead and empty it in here. Had to open the can. Bruh, where is this freaking can opener? Here we go. So we gotta open it like this, right? Yes, we're doing it! Now we can feed you. Come here, boy. All right, put it in there. That was enough for Zeke. Do we have to go up to you? Okay, he's coming. There's some delicious food there for you, buddy. Coffee. <laughs> what is this? Oh, hey kid, heard from Walter. You're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here? So I guess he wants us to uh, help fix that. That this stuff here. This is where I see a computer. I'll check upstairs. Al Carson 5387. That must be like a password or something. This right here. Yes, here we go. Now we just gotta sit down and get on his computer. Ooh! So we literally have to walk in and everything. Dude, it makes that clicky sound too. Now let's try that password. Yes! We're in, baby. Woohoo! Playing a computer on a computer inside of a game. Quite interesting. Ooh, this looks like the security. Oh, what the heck? The system has encountered a critical error. You got some viruses on here, my guy? You might want to get like an antivirus set up. What is this, egg exe? Yeah, so every time he tries to go into it, it doesn't work. Free trial for a limited period. Your children catch colds, your computer catches viruses. Get full protection. Yeah, I'm gonna download that because it's a it's an antivirus. That's what we need. Or download that. Welcome to Antivirus 96. Perform full scan. Yeah. Oh, we already got a threat found. Find all them threats. Mr. Carson, you're gonna have to be a little more careful, man, on your computer. I don't know what you'd be installing and all that, but hey. Security threat. Trojan. Risk high. Threat not removed. Remove that baby. Done. Yes, sir. Our wall is up and running. There we go. Now it's working. Got camera two. Camera three. This is like phasmophobia vibes. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Hey, that's what's up. Evelyn Cooper. Who is this? Weird. Reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right. Now you gotta watch it with me. Yeah, so we gotta go downstairs now and watch the TV. TV on. Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking cat food. Cat food? What the heck? It's my favorite dish. Hee hee. That's disgusting. Who would eat cat food? Ugh. Whoa, is he like hypnotizing us? Fry the cat food? What the heck? 
Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. Jeffrey be weird, bro. Did I just hear something? Cardboard? Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Groceries. Ranch, strawberry, jelly. I'm on it, Mr. Carson's. Dang. $100 bill? I guess being a social media influencer really helps, don't it? Let's leave the house. Carson texted. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. See, that's what's up. You can take Al's bike outside the garage. Right here? Nice. Go ahead and hop on that bike. Shoot. This is fire, man. There's so many cool things to this game, like riding a bike, bro. And then we bought the grocery shop? Now, where's this grocery store? I'm guessing we go this way. Yo, this person nearly ran me over. What is wrong with people, bro? You never seen someone ride their bike in the road? 9.22 p.m. We rode our bike all the way out here. Okay, let's turn in. Get up here. Let's put our bike like back here. What's this called? Nux Convenience Store. Woo! What's up, Mr. Cashier? So we got ranch, strawberry, jelly. Grab a basket here. Yeah. We got people in the store too. This is freaking awesome, man. Ranch, ranch, ranch. We got no ranch over here, bro. Right? Oh, here's the ranch. Okay, drop that. Can we put it in the basket? Come on. Oh, there we go. That's how that works. Cool. Hey, son, do you work here? No, lady. Ha, huh? okay, son. Why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Think they're out of mustard. Yeah, I think they're out, lady. I'm sorry, I don't want to help you find this mustard. Isn't that right? No wonder I couldn't find it. Ha, huh. thank you, son. No problem, lady. Right, I'm guessing this is strawberry jam, choco spread, and eggs. Yo, we got this lady humming over here. She really enjoying her shopping right now. I am too. What are you doing, lady, huh? What are you doing? Freaking weird old lady. Where is this choco spread? Oh, right here. Milk, eggs. There's just milk and eggs at. <laughs> Her face is just funny. She's just like, let's get some milk. Oh, we don't have to open it. Eggs over here. Yeah. Adam eggs. So we need garden peas and honey. Garden peas and honey. Garden peas and honey. What are, where are garden peas going to be? Oh, here we go. Garden peas. We need honey as well. Why you guys think you can just sit here in the middle of the aisle? Speak of the devil. What are you guys doing here? I have no idea who these guys are. Oh, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something. Dude, I just said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He hopped to that other chick so quick. I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him. But, dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing, like, a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of, like, a goth. Goth energy. Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Just chilling. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house sit for this guy, Carson. You mean now Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo. Especially since his parents split up. Yeah, whatever fills the pockets, man. Hey, as long as I get money. All right, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. And you guys stop sitting here talking in the middle of the freaking aisle. No, pff, excuse me, lady. <laughs> what the freak? Where is this honey at? I found the rice. Uncle Tony's only, he said. I'm surprised the stuff ain't falling out here. Sheesh. Some some nice humming right there. <laughs> what the freak? Just look at me like that. Really got me down here looking for honey like this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Honey, right here, right in front of my face. There's ketchup. Let's go ring this up. No, he said we could pick something out, too. You know, you want to get us some chili tortillas. You know, that sounds good to me. I want to get all this. That looks heavy, kid. Should I build all that for you? Mr. Carson didn't leave enough money. No. Okay, well, what about now? Should I build this for you? Yes, please. Dang, I wanted some tortillas, and there wasn't enough for me to get something. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good night. Thank you. You too, man. Well, where's our bike at? Right here. Who the heck knocked it over? The audacity of some people. Do 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 do. No idea where I'm going, but hey. 9.46 p.m. Oh, it's really dark now. I had to pee again, and I was starting to feel hungry around that time. I still had a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. Hey, open up that door. Did we not lock the place, bro? Guess we'll put this in the kitchen somewhere. Like right here, for example kept the grocery like i said thought dang that's too fast bro okay get some schoolwork done now let's go ahead and sit here and do some schoolwork i really just had to pee first 
Oh yeah, that's right. We had to do that, didn't we? This bathroom at. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take a leak. That's some yellow, yellow. Oh, we can aim it. Yo, I did even. <laughs> Just aim it all in. Oh gosh, I peed all over the seat. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Mr. Carson. Oh, it's thundering. Well, let's get back to working on our stuff. Andy Reynolds. Dude, you said you were at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. I need to do my schoolwork. I did have schoolwork to do, but when I saw Andy's text, my curiosity got the best of me. I bet it did. I bet it did. All right, look up on the internet. Uh, okay, that should work right there, right? Enter. Yes! Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats. Okay, I guess we click on that one. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, allegedly receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Hunter News, it's not usual for audience to be noisy about the celebrities, personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. Sources say Roy Carson- Somebody rang the doorbell? Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her, so you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. Oh, that might be one of those people at the door right now. He could have a gun, he could have a knife, he could try to kill me. Do we got, like, any self-defense? I realized I could have checked Mr. Carson's CCTV system. Oh, yes, duh. I just forgot we had that. I was gonna go check through the window. <laughs> check on the computer. Open up that security system. Oh, okay. Looks like a normal dude with the hat on. We got night mode? Bag. He's still ringing that doorbell. A little strange. I don't see anything bad on him. Well, I guess we can go check it out. Check here. Okay, it's hard to see from there. Go oh, about here. Can't see anything there too. Okay, I guess we'll answer the door. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson? Roy didn't tell me he ordered no pizza, but maybe he just wanted to surprise me. Okay, we're gonna open it. I can't see anything. Oh, hi there. Here, take. All right, thank you. Why are you smiling like that, man? <laughs> okay. What's up with your fingers? Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside while the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. This is not my house. I understand. You can just say no. Well, you have a good day. Okay, you too. Thank you. Well, got some delicious pizza now. Shoot. Thought I could watch some TV while eating. Yeah, why not? We'll just take the big box of pizza. Well, we're gonna go sit down and watch some TV. Our pizza? What is this? Oh, that is weird. That is very weird. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Really nice Mr. Carson, man. What? What the heck? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. <laughs> this is a weird TV, man. Am I really about to eat all this pizza? Is... Hope everything's okay. I Sorry, I got caught up with work. Yourself... Good night, Ev. Sweet dreams. Can I use the bathroom? Yeah. The freak is this? What? Like <laughs> this thing is floating. Oh. Somebody's knocking. I heard someone at the door again. Whoa. Very weird. This was some delicious pizza, man. Let's get up, uh. I'm the toilet man. The freak? I'm the toilet man. What is this? Let's turn that off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go check out the cameras. I ain't gonna open up that door. What the heck? They're going around back. What is that? They definitely looked like a girl who went around back. I guess we go check what it is. Okay. Who is it? No one answered. Open. What are these flowers? I didn't know what to make of them. Just put the flowers there, I guess. That is very strange. Shouldn't we tell Carson about this? It was strange, but I dismissed the thought. As a weird coincidence, they moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Yeah, let's do our homework. Completed our homework. Finally. Uh-oh. 1 a.m. The dog's barking. 
If I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. But you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very mature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank. I just knew guys like him very well. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. That's very true. What the heck is that? Mr. Carson apparently had power back up for his security system. Yeah, let's check it out then. Where's the dog? Dog's gone. Oh, I saw someone. Don't know what to do from here. Oh my gosh, it is dark. Let's go check the dog. The dog's going crazy. Oh. It was suddenly very cold outside. Come here, boy. What are you barking at? Zeke was acting very weird. There, I'll pet you. Oh, is this where the power is? I turned the power back up. Somebody literally went in there and flipped it off on us. I tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Yup, bunch of freaking weirdos. Wanna come inside with me, buddy? Come on inside. Good boy, come on inside. No, you, you don't wanna come in? Okay, try to save Unknown sender. Said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Right. Yeah, get back to working. You're working on all sorts of math. There we go. We finished it. I had a strange gut feeling about this situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Did I just hear a knife? Oh, bro, what is that? What is that noise? I hate how dark it is, bro. What? The furnace is on? The oven was on. <laughs> Did we just die? Loki, it made me feel uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. What? No way we just died like that. Was that he? That looked like a she, bro. I'm not too sure if we could have came out alive in that situation or what? I think that's good to leave it off here. It may have been a bad ending and all that, but I'll definitely do a part two for you guys if you want that. Let me know in the comments below. But besides that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please do leave a like on this video and subscribe to become part of the Uchiha. Besides that, I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>